The work to restore service to YO-22 over T-Town Pass wasn't the only emergency contract let by YDOT last month. Mudslide mitigation work was also performed less than three miles away on the same highway. On June 7th, just east of the Idaho state line, the highway was blocked by a mudslide. Thousands of cubic yards of mud, rocks, and debris washed down from the mountain above, covering the road three to four feet deep in some places. There's rain, the, the weather is warm, there's snow melt, and then something gives. And, and they're, they're saying that this was an event that is a 25, maybe 50 year event. Once the road was cleared, the focus turned to mitigation. An emergency contract was let to Avail Valley Construction to install a seven foot box culvert at the site. The hope is to capture any future mud flow so that it does not go over the top of the road. It keeps it in the ditch, it keeps it in the box, and then, then our maintenance forces can clean it up. YDOT and the contractor took advantage of the highway closure due to the big fill slide to speed up installation. By the time the highway reopened, the culvert was in place and the road repaved. Mitigation is now complete, but more cleanup work will be needed this summer. So there's two additional contracts that will be let. The debris that's in the uh, ditch will be cleaned out, and then there'll be another contract let to repair the scale. Reminding you to slow down in work zones and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.